Peace and love, y'all. Naeem here. Just wanted to make a little video about remote viewing visual contact. Uh, there's a lot of schools of thought in remote viewing. Um, very touchy subject around visuals. Uh, can a viewer see the target? Can you see the target clearly? Um, my opinion is yes. Um, I've been practicing and, and, and working on uh, achieving higher levels of contact for quite some time now. So I just wanted to go over some of the results I had and show a little comparison against uh, other public displays of this type of clairvoyant um, images, you know, seeing, seeing the target image. Um, so my most recent target I worked, I was completely blind. Um, this was a, a man-made uh, pipe. It's like a tube that's built in this reservoir of water and it, it basically acts as like a drainage for this uh, water here. It's in the mountains in Portugal. So this man-made tube, this is the target I worked. I was completely blind, meaning I was not given any hints or clues or anything except a target identifying number. So I worked uh, two sessions on this target. Um, I'm gonna go over some of the little clips here. I'm going to show a part of my first session, which I didn't post. Uh, but before we get into that, I want to show this video clip of Yuri Geller on TV doing a, um, a hidden picture drawing. So essentially, someone drew a picture and it's hidden and concealed. And Yuri Geller is going, is going to attempt on live TV to perceive this image and draw it. Okay, Yuri Geller is a um, Israeli um, entertainer and performer. Um, he is a very talented and skilled um, practitioner of uh, ESP <laughs> and uh, you know anomalous cognition, remote viewing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Yuri Geller, he's an amazing person. There's a lot of people that call him a fraud and things like that. I'm not really here to debate those people. I'm here to show um, the similarities in real visual contact here. So here's this clip here. Let's check it out. Yuri Geller on TV doing a hidden drawing experiment. I want you to pay attention to what happens after he draws uh, the image. Okay. Set up a little earlier. We went into a separate room. Um, Uri asked me to draw a very simple picture. He was not looking at the picture. I guarantee you on my life that this is absolutely and you real haven't and verified. Told this to, I mean, you I, haven't told what you drew to anyone. Not at all. Now, I, all I can hope that your drawing will be similar to well, this. Maybe, maybe it was possibly the confusion. Look, there it is. Exactly. I don't believe it. Yep. I there it is. You see, that's what confused me. All this you know, the lines, the lines, the lines the but I got the lines. Now, now, just to show you, <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, now, now comes the interesting thing. That is extraordinary. Thing. Hold your door. That Look, is just extraordinary. Watch this. If the, if the camera and can focus on this. If you measure my drawing from this point to this point, okay, here it is from here to here. Now hold this. And you measure Jason's point, uh, flower from this point to this point. Now we will put them together and it will probably be almost millimetrically. Oh yeah, there it is, millimetric. It's, look, Jason, I, I want you to I, see it too. I, I really don't know what to say. It's almost like my mind, I mean, you can measure it with a ruler outside. You will see that the distance is millimetric. This, the fact that you managed to get the picture is extraordinary enough. Yeah. I so as you can see there, uh, Yuri uh, recreated the image. He drew the image correctly. But what I, what I really want you to pay attention to is the fact that it was almost like a mirror um, symmetrical drawing. Like he got the, uh, the overall shape and size correct to the point where you could kind of like mirror the images side by side. Um, that, of course, wasn't a full-blown remote viewing experiment. It was a you know, simple, you know, kind of like a hidden drawing, spontaneous sort of thing. But the point I want to get to here is that this faculty of the mind that allows one to perceive uh, the visual images, hidden visual images, or a distant target, um, this mechanism is real. And um, 
it can be demonstrated repeatedly in remote viewing. So after showing that example now, I want to go to my session work that I did. Um, here's the clip from my first session that I did on this, um, this like hole, this, <laughs> this um, man-made pipe, this drainage pipe in this dam. This is the first session I did uh, where I had target contact and I just wanted to show kind of like how a viewer can get onto target and um, what the results can be at the end, all right? So here's the little clip of the part of my first session that I was given the thumbs up, go ahead, continue work. I'm seeing like a uh, sand almost like a desert type area and then there's some kind of I don't know if it's a furrow something sounds I get like a hiss like a crackle uh, might be a feature there in the land um, Try to get a better look at this. Okay, this is like a Okay, this is off. This is in the distance. This here, this is something that's like a feature in the land. Um kind of like a depression something there. Sounds I get are um, just like a, not a lot of sound there. Um, smells. I just get like stone, um, textures. Uh, yeah, like stone, worn stone. Um, why would we be looking at this? I get a sense of like underground or like below, um, underground or below. Um, I get like this blowing sound, blowing. Um, why would we be looking at this? So it looks like a, kind of like a, not a crater, but some kind of like opening in the land. Like, I don't know if it's... So that was, um, that was the first part of my session that I did that uh, I was given the thumbs up on and told to continue work. So here's the clip from my second session, which is posted on my YouTube. And I'm going to just skip forward to the part that I want you to see here so I can show you what I want to show you. So um, here's me working uh, this target the second time and I'm isolating the land gestalt to get a better view at this, this thing, the circular thing. Okay, let's look at this land two, or this, you know, I'm gonna call it land two. I'm calling land to seeing the circular type feature. I want to get a visual here. Land two. L A N 
D two land two. Okay, this, uh, huh, I don't know. This looks like, uh, to me, this is like a, uh, not a sinkhole, but, um, the land's here, and there's something here, um, goes down like this, some kind of, um, Depression, something in the land, sounds. So that was my drawing that I did. That's what I saw when I looked at this circular feature, this land feature that I was perceiving in the session. Um, but the interesting part that I want to show you here is that the person that tasked me this target sent me this image um, of my drawing that I did there, uh, kind of like split screen with the with the target image, similar to kind of like what Yuri was showing in the in the video I showed you earlier. So, here's my drawing, overlapped, split screen with the target image that I received uh, in my tasking. Okay, so you can see there that this same type of um, mechanism uh, that can um, give you insight to these targets uh, and give you information visually um, it's, it's real and uh, it's been demonstrated so many times uh, and to be able to have a similar um, point of contact happen to me and be able to share it uh, is pretty exciting to me so uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys um, visual context, seeing the target. Um, they say visuals are like 80% of what we perceive. So when you're remote viewing, uh, it would be really helpful if you could see uh, see that target and um, get a little closer than just like feelings and uh, vague impressions. You get what I mean? So uh, I hope this video was helpful. I hope it was inspiring. Um, um, thanks for watching, and uh, take care. Peace and love, y'all.